This paper is comparing the regulatory standard models with the internal risk models and proposing um, an improved methodology to aggregate risks from asset and liabilities. Um, using two empirical data sets from Korean and German markets, we construct some internal risk models by considering two uh, specific elements that are not taken into account in the current regulations. One is uh, undertaking specific um, risk profile, and the other is um, data-driven correlation metrics. Uh, unlike the literature, this study builds a um, comprehensive uh, two-step aggregation approach consisting of base level aggregation and the top level aggregation using the regular VINE model, which is the up-to-date um, high-dimensional dependence model. Uh, we apply this constructed model to estimate the risk capitals and compare them with the estimates um, based on three regulatory models, Korean risk-based capital, solvency tool, and Swiss solvency test. Uh, to, 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 to prove our um, superiority of our model, we apply this model further into the diversification benefit, asset allocation strategies, and ruin probability. The key findings from our paper highlight the following. First, uh, the regular VINE model turns out to be the best fit model for both asset and uh, underwriting portfolios, meaning that um, this high-dimensional dependence model can be uh, effectively carried out by this pairwise dependence structure. And the top-level risk aggregation is conducted most appropriately under the independence assumption. Uh, second, uh, the three regulatory models, uh, they overestimate the required capital by 35% on average and 54% uh, as the maximum in the Korean RBC case. Uh, we specifically find that um, this, this overestimation results from uh, two elements data-driven correlation metrics and undertaking a specific risk profile, which address 18 percentage points and 17 percentage points respectively. Third, um, the Korean RBC uh, model needs more improvements than the other two do, in that the Korean RBC model does not count the dependent structure in the market risk module. Uh, possibly leading to no diversification benefit. And um, this model does not appropriately categorize the underwriting risk module. Third, uh, lastly, uh, uh, the standard models, they overestimate the required capital with different uh, asset allocation strategies. And the best fit, fit model, which is regular VINE model, gives the most diversification benefit. Uh, one of the important implications from our paper uh, is that um, the market competition can be distorted if standard models and internal models are used in one market. Um, this is especially a disadvantage for small and mid-sized companies who do not have sufficient resources to establish internal models. Um, the, the misestimation of this required capital under these standard models can lead to several challenges. For example, the overestimation requires insur insurance companies to hoard more capital, thereby taking away the investment opportunity uh, for them who, who, who want to diversify the investment um, uh, basket in the current low interest rate, rate era. Uh, on the other hand, a possible underestimation can potentially increase the ruin probability of the co insurance company due to insufficient capital size. Uh, therefore, um, therefore, more appropriate design for regulation considering these undertaking specific parameters can help insurance companies optimize their capital allocation. 
Uh, another implication might be um, might be that um, the gap between standard model and internal model can be larger for small and mid-sized companies, represented by our German data, than for larger companies, represented by our Korean data. Furthermore, um, this two-step aggregation approach can be used in a general actuarial pricing scheme, uh, especially when aggregating a range of risk factors in a risk pool.